Hey YouTube, mm, just a quick little update on the system, this isn't too exciting, but a little exciting for myself anyway. <laughs> I just uh, expanded our battery bank. Um, I am now, actually I'm charging right now through my Outback. Um, oh, it's in absorption mode. So there's only 260 watts being pushed through, but there'd be about 500 watts right now. If it wasn't in absorption, uh, my end phase panels, my six, uh, this is a 1.35 kW array, and that is uh, pumping in 653. So, uh, added another uh, couple of six volt deep cycles. So, now I've got about, um, Oh god, 900 and plus uh, amp hours. Let's see, 232. That's 700. Uh, that's not about 932, I want to say, amp hours, maybe a little bit more. I just calculated it in watts just a moment ago. It's 11,136 watts um, is what we've got now in terms of total capacity. For uh, running off grid or backup, if the grid went down, it's not huge. You know, you can't run 11,000. You can't run that to the ground. Um, you know, and um, I still need to get more of these these little boot insulators. I'm just throwing some some garbage over it right now, just to protect those terminals in case I drop a tool or something in there. And you've probably seen from my other videos. This is a passive. Uh, these are lead acid, of course, and uh, this is a passive um, venting method. So all that hydrogen gas just accumulates. And this, by the way, is airtight. These have to be airtight. If you have any gaps, and you, I used to go inside this box, close it up, make sure I could see no gaps. If I did, I caulked it or sealed it or you know, even weather stripped it, but I made sure there were zero gaps. That way the only place that hydrogen can leave, because it's going to rise, is going to be out there and then outside. And when that hydrogen leaves, the fresh air will have to come in to take its place, and that will can only come in one direction, also from outside, but this time through this pipe, and it's heavier air, fresh air, than hydrogen, so that'll sink to the bottom, create the vacuum effect, and there's passive um, venting. So, well, that's all good. So anyway, I'm just charging off these batteries. I'm not going to make this too long because it's really not that exciting. <laughs> yeah, just a quick update. Just just about five minutes ago, and this must have updated, or the sun must Oh, <laughs> I see. Sun got a little bit more clear. This is my end phase 1.35 kW array. So you could see it's just jacked up from a second ago. We're almost at uh, 800 watts coming off of that thing um, right now. And as I said, I've got about 500 watts coming off of um, my, um, my, call it hybrid array. The array I can flip, go to battery, which I'm doing now, or go to plug-in, cheapo grid tie, which I'm not doing right now, but I just looked at it before, it's about 500, so yeah, I'm probably pushing in 1.2, 1.3 kW total from my array, the whole array is, jeez, I guess about 2.4, 2.3 kW array, that's what it all adds up to right now, so we're getting there.